All right, you guys, so welcome back to another video. Now, today's video, I will be building my dad's 1998 Yamaha Blaster with a 200cc motor in the four-wheeler. So, pretty fast four-wheeler, pretty cool four-wheeler. Uh, next summer, that will be a project. So, hopefully you guys do stick around until next year because that's when that four-wheeler is going to fix because I fixed mine, but I can't ride it right now because... Well, my collarbone, but September 1st is the day that I will be getting this off, so stay tuned for that. Two more weeks, come on, let's go. Pray for me, please, please. I know Little Art, Little Art has, so thank you, Little Art 23 for that. And yeah, so hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video, and let's jump right in. Let's get straight into the build of this four-wheeler here. So, if we go to dealership, let's go to quads. And we're going to be using this four-wheeler here. So this is basically going to be the replica of my dad's Yamaha Blaster. So I'll upgrade this and I'll see you guys in the customizations ready to customize this thing. So here we are in the customizations. So basically we're just going to add a repair pack and a winch and then that should be it. I mean our four-wheeler doesn't, or my dad's four-wheeler doesn't have a winch but might as well have it just in case. So now onto the paint. It's basically kind of just like a faded out blue. Almost something like that. So it's basically just a matte finish on the four-wheeler here. So, And then we'll put these rims on there and then we'll just keep the matte gray on there. Then the tires we can just leave stock. And then onto the decals. Basically, I'm just going to try to copy what the four-wheeler has on it. And I'll see you guys once I'm done with that. So you guys, here it is. Here is the four-wheeler. So basically what I've done to it is I've put Yamaha on both sides. It's got this really cool decal under the Yamaha, which is pretty cool. And then it's got the Yamaha on both sides of the fenders on the front fenders. And then we got Blaster on the rear fenders as well. So I think this thing turned out really well. All we got to do is do some suspension lift and some tire thickness. And I think we should be good with this four-wheeler. All right, so the axis width for both the front and the rear is going to be 0.04. The dampening is going to stay the same. The shocks are going to be at 2. Shock size is going to be at 2.3. Stiffness is going to be at 15,100. And then the travel is going to be at 33. And both of those are the same for the rear and the front. So, now that all that's done, let's move on to the wheels and tires. So the rim size is going to be somewhere in between 1.1 and 1.2. So kind of find a medium to that. The same thing with the wheel radius and the wheel width too. So basically I've made the back tires really fat and then the front tires really like kind of skinny. So then uh, that's kind of how it is on this four-wheeler. So uh, basically the four-wheeler is done. Everything is all ready to good, go and we should be good. So I think I'll go ahead and put a dyno on it and then we'll head to the desert and see how this thing drives. Okay, you guys, so here we are on the desert here. So I know my guy looks a little weird, ignore that. So basic, so we got the four-wheeler here, so I made it a manual because that four-wheeler is actually a manual, so we should be good. The, the whole realistic feel of this four-wheeler should be good. So uh, I've never messed with manuals before in this game, so um, I'm completely new to this. So let's see how this thing drives, I guess. So with four-wheel drive, I guess I'm gonna have to have this up. Oh, dude. Okay, this is actually kind of this is actually kind of fast for a four wheeler. Not gonna lie. Whoa. Whoa. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh my goodness. Drop it down to fourth. Shift into third. Oh. Second. 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 <gasps> I caught that so hard. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. First gear. Shifting up gears in the four wheel on this four wheeler. Shift down to second, shift down to first. Boom. Boom. Popping gears. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> oh dude. Drop down to the oh shoot. Oh, I'm in neutral. Second gear. Third gear. Third gear is kind of like lost on this thing. It's kind of like first, second, and then 
like 276 gear. It's kind of like super weird. Okay, I need to stop redlining this thing. Go, 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 go. I, oh my, why can't you start in second? Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start in second. Hold on. Like, okay, I'm gonna start in second. Okay, I guess you don't get as big of a launch, but you don't have to shift. I guess you don't get the acceleration out of it that you really want. I guess. So kind of keeping it in the second, third range is kind of what you want out of this four-wheeler, I guess. Or just out of anything. I've never messed with manuals, so if you guys know man more, more about manuals in this game, just let me know. Because, I mean, I don't know. I don't know much about manuals. <laughs> okay. Rear wheel drive. Oh, God, dude. I gotta remember, I gotta shift. Shift to third. Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Okay, okay. Oh, oh shoot. I gotta shift into... <laughs> I am so bad at this. Oh, shoot. I... Bro. Okay, I gotta learn how to use manuals, because I... Oh, my gosh. Okay, shift into second, and then third. Easy. Easy fourth. Oh. Oh, buddy boy. Woo! Oh my, get into first. Okay, I'm gonna pop it. I'm gonna pop the clutch and go into neutral and then first. I know sounds aren't playing, internal sounds aren't playing. Just kind of awkward, but we're just gonna have to live with it. Oh, of course there's a. That's so weird. Okay, look at this. I'm in neutral. I'm gonna. I'm revving it. Okay, 6,000 RPMs. In first gear, it doesn't even move. It just immediately goes down to first gear. Or just immediately goes down to 1,000 RPMs. Oh! Bro, oh, dude, that's the, that's the biggest thing. Neutral is used... Oh, God. I, I bet that's how you can get wheelies and stuff. Is if you... Oh, God. I bet that's how you can get do wheelies and that sort of thing. It's if you go into neutral, and then you just pop it, and you have super stiff suspension, I bet you can pop wheelies and stuff. That's how most people do it, probably. So I think, you guys, this is going to be a success, you know? I think this actually works. I think this four-wheeler is really good. I just have never messed with manuals before, so I, I, I wouldn't know. So, I mean, I guess it works. I guess this really works. So if you guys do want to try it, just watch back through the video, the entire video, and just see how I built this if you're still past, like, the two-minute mark, if you're still watching. So, yeah, hopefully you did enjoy. If you do want to see me build more four-wheelers in the future, like, what four-wheelers -wheeler, four do you want to see me build next, just let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in another video. Until then, peace out. Okay, you guys, thank you for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. I will be returning to uploading videos on YouTube, but school has just started, like, just a week ago, so I will be, like, the videos will be on a decline, like I said in the last video, so I just thought I might make that clear, but thank you guys for all the support that you've been showing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.